Good morning. We slept well in our yurt last night, other than a little bit of snoring from our driver. <laughs> But uh, other than that, yeah, it was absolutely spectacular. And we are heading off on the next part of our adventure today. And uh, I'm super excited. Are we traveling in the, yeah. in the truck? This is going to be a bit easier than walking, isn't it, Dad? Yeah, but... The walking's fun, too. This is going to be fun. <laughs> How are you feeling this morning, Ada? driving back. The walk, the hike down was really cool but this just means we get to do more today because it's, you know, it's quicker. And the footage is a bit smoother. Yeah. <laughs> So we've got a few fun adventures planned today, but we're going to base up in a little village, a local village called Sate, where we're going to be staying tonight, getting some breakfast, lunch, dinner and stuff, and then we'll do our trips from there. But um, yeah, I'm excited to see what a, a small local Kazakh village is like. Time to go. So we didn't have electricity to charge our laptops last night. So we couldn't back up all of our stuff. But I have brought this amazing new device I've been trying out called the Narbox. And basically, as you can see now, I'm backing up footage from yesterday. You can just pop in your SD card and uh, back it all up onto this rugged, solid state drive that is perfect for being out on the field, for those of you that shoot and film on the go, traveling, this is a dream. And uh, the coolest thing is as well, you can back up and just be dumping all your footage throughout the day and then just plug it in as a solid state drive to your laptop at the end of the day and edit straight from it. So, uh, amazing piece of future tech here. Yeah. We've arrived in this little village where we're going to be staying. Struggling to find the exact house we're staying at, but I'm sure we'll find it soon. We found it. Is this where we're staying or is this the kitchen? No. This is great. I love this. Where shall, where shall I sit? Shall I sit here? Oh, how oh, come? Yeah, it's yours. Ah, amazing. Oh, breakfast spread. Mm. This is a porridge. Yes. Mm. Porridge with water. Let's have a little look around where we're staying. Oh, this, is this is cute. Oh, is this where they, in the winter? Or just in the winter. Oh, there's another room in here. And another bedroom there. And a room in the back. And another one through there as well. What, another one? Yeah, it's Whoa, four. We've all got to sleep in here tonight. Yeah, how many people could sleep here? You probably get like 12 people sleeping here, didn't yeah. you? We're just having a little look around the house before we head back out again. They've got a cool little veggie patch back here. Hey, oh my gosh, it's so cute. 
Look how cute that cow is. Hey! Hello! Let's say hi to this cow. Hello! Hello! You trying to get these flies off you, buddy? Hello! Look at their, their pet cow. I'm trying to get these flies off you, bro. Yeah. Oh. We are heading to a lake now. What's the name of the lake? Corsai Lake. Corsai. Yes. Corsai Lake, and then back here for lunch. Yes. And then Lake Candy. Yes. Okay. Corsai Lake, Corsai back here for lunch. Is, uh, uh, the and then to Lake system. Candy. We have decided to go for a little boat ride. Uh, do you want to go first on the oars, Dad? You've got this, Dad. Um, <laughs> um, it's completely different, but I uh, haven't done this for a while. Yeah. You got that? Uh, I think so. I just, I just rode down the Ardash. Uh, in a canoe, but as one or yeah, canoes a bit you're paddling with a partner. Something we've noticed is that there's a lot of wild camping here in Kazakhstan from tourists or even from in, uh, like domestic tourists. But I think that's really cool because it's free and you can literally find like the coolest spots to camp. So. Even last night when we were staying in the yurts, which was an incredible experience, if you wanted to do the budget version, bring your own tent, backpack, like those Polish guys we had dinner with, and uh, yeah, they were just camping by the riverside. They, they were also hitchhiking, which is amazing. What happens when you party till three, and then work till six, or a day trip? Ada's having a little nap at the back of the boat. A well-deserved nap. What's he singing about? About the love. Love. Ah, oh, love songs on the lake. Stay with me. Yeah! Good! Woo! We are back in the village at our guest house. And lunch has just been served. Look at this incredible spread. Mmm. This is our host's dog, Rex. Hey, Rex. This is a hunting dog. Very wolf, wolf-like. He hunts deer. Wild boar. Deer. Deer. Mm. Wow. What? Well, this can take down a deer. Or did he just find it? We've had lunch. We are heading to Lake Candy now. It's all off-road driving from here, so it's going to be interesting. I think we're going to go through some rivers as well. And it's going to be about an hour till we get there, and then I'll tell you all about the fascinating history of this lake. Okay, we have reached the end of our very bumpy drive and we are walking down to Lake Candy now. This is cool. I think this is one of the coolest lakes in Kazakhstan, apparently. Tell us the history of Lake Candy. 
Yes, in 1911 was big earthquake in Almaty region. Uh, so after that uh, was mad slide and uh, was accurate the Kainde Lake. So it, it means uh, Kainde Lake is only 100 years. 100 yes. years? Yeah, 100 years. Uh, wow. And uh, you, you will see the spruces in, in the lake. Yeah. Uh, and they never, uh, they never destroyed because uh, the temperature of lake is every time plus four. It's like ah. a fridge. Four degrees Celsius. Yes. So the earthquake shifted something which formed the lake. So it's not often you see a kind of a hundred year old naturally formed lake with petrified trees that's still preserved. So these trees around us are called Changshang spruces and they only grow in Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan, which is cool. Wow. Hello. Hey. Wow. Yeah. This is awesome. This place is really beautiful. And if we had longer, apparently you can organize scuba diving tours to go and see kind of below the surface and the tree trunks and like all the way down to the bottom of the lake, which I don't think is too deep. in the water as so I, I suppose as this place is filled up instantly with water after the earthquake. Oh, thank you. Yeah, President. It's a oh. from garden. The guy oh, cool. escaped the... Rachmed. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just been kindly given a fresh tomato from these people behind us from their garden. Let's give this little taste. They're very sweet. Mmm. Mm. Ada, what have you found? Uh, it's a raspberry. It's a wild raspberry. Mm. Wild raspberries. Yeah. They taste good? Fantastic. It's so sweet. Wild Kazakh raspberries. <laughs> wow. Mm. I love raspberries. Raspberry harvesting. They're oh. like mini They're mini tiny little raspberries, They're mini aren't they? Raspberries. The Marsburyettes. Marsburyettes? Raspberryettes. The same as in Marsbury. Raspberry net. Let me see what can I have a little one? Yeah. Tankurai. 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 Right, I've got my Ronin SC out again. I'm gonna get some low angle shots of the river like this. We've just walked around to the other side of Lake Canby to get a view of the trees from this side. And I've noticed again, more wild camping. Check it out. It's gonna be slippy at the end there, so don't fall sideways and drop all your cameras in or whatever. I'm trying to walk across this log. Woo! This is actually a little bit harder when holding a heavy gimbal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ripley. Oh, they're, they're butting each other. Oh, no. <laughs> it's going to be quicker walking. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm to... Oh, I want to join him as well. The shepherd on the horse here wants us to help him herd his sheep away from the apple trees. So he wants us to get them out. We need to go in the orchard and get the sheep out. I love it. <laughs> How did they get in here? Through that little fence. Some of these have got great big horns. How are you all fitting through there? Ch chill out, guys. <laughs> How do they fit through the gaps? It's amazing. That was fun, wasn't it? That was fun being a shepherd. Apparently, even though there was one huge herd of sheep, they're now breaking off into the little gardens or owners that they belong to and they know where they live, so it's, the herd's only this big now because there's probably already a hundred that have split off to their own gardens. This is Silva, yeah. he's from Paris yeah. and we just met him, he was just riding past on his motorbike and he was looking for some food so we invited him to come and eat at our guest house. <laughs> oh, he looks so happy. So we're back for the evening after a day of adventuring and uh, dinner is served. Nice to meet you. Yeah, me too. Cheers to Kazakhstan. Where are we going, Dad? We are, well, come and see. I think we're going for a, a sauna stroke shower in this like homemade little thing at the end of the garden. <laughs> yeah, I love how they don't have a real toilet yet, they have a sauna. So, in there is a sauna. What? That is what we're talking about. Oh my gosh. This has got to be experienced. This is a real... Oh, I'm completely fogged up. How do they make it hot in here? I don't know. I don't really understand. I think it's all wood. There's two barrels. I don't know how they heated it. This is hot water and cold water. Is that hot? Well, that'll be hot water. That'll come out of. Ah, it's hot, that's boiling hot. Boiling hot. You make your own sort of water, the right temperature. So I think I think they I, they heated it up by putting coal or wood in there or whatever, and then you just pour it over yourself. You just pour it over yourself. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> that's good, mate. Is this a new experience of washing yourself? Um, in without a shower or bath. Yeah, this I've never done this style of washing. Being the Kazakh way. How did you find that, Dad? Your oh, first amazing. Kazakh just shower. I needed after all that sort of hill walking and um, hiking. Yeah. So just uh, refreshing and fun. Guys, that was an incredible experience. We almost couldn't be bothered. We were like, nah, we'll just shower at the hotel tomorrow. But uh, it was so worth doing. So much cooler than a sauna in a hotel or anything. This was like a very unique special experience well it's time for bed tomorrow is the last day of our tour around the almaty region of kazakhstan and uh yeah it's gonna be some fun adventures when we wake up in the morning see you then